The case of a theft spree going back two decades across the country has been cracked. Yesterday, federal authorities announced the arrests of nine people, all from Lackawanna County. Newswatch 16's Emily Crest joins us live with more reaction from groups in Lackawanna County. And this was a pretty big story, big shocker yesterday, Emily. This really was a big shocker yesterday, Lisa, and it's continuing today. Now, out of the 20 places hit across the country, six of the places targeted in Lackawanna County. Today, we're learning more about the meaning behind some of those prized items stolen. The Lackawanna Historical Society remembers July 2nd, 2010, like it was yesterday. The day their 1903 Tiffany lamp was stolen after thieves broke into a back window at three in the morning. Over in the corner, there was a desk with the Tiffany lamp on it. So they grabbed that lamp and went out the front door uh, within 11 minutes from the alarm going off and the police getting here. Uh, so it was obvious they knew what they were doing and they knew what they were taking. Another Tiffany style lamp was damaged during the burglary. Federal authorities say the thieves included several people indicted in a theft ring that hit museums and galleries across the country, selling the items to make a quick buck. Court paperwork says the Tiffany lamp was sold for $6,300. The last appraisal I had on it was $15,000. So yeah, $6,300 is just not what the lamp was worth. That Tiffany lamp had deep ties to the city of Scranton, a prized piece staff showed off on tours. The lamp was from the First Presbyterian Church of Scranton, so it was one of the earliest pieces in our collection that really represented the people of the city that started out here. The Everhart Museum was also among the places targeted back in 2005. Staff at the museum tell Newswatch 16 the suspects broke into a back door, making their way to the second floor gallery, snatching a Jackson Pollock and an Andy Warhol painting right off the wall. It rattles you that you're trying to do something in good faith and we're trying to preserve these things for future generations to see and then there's you know we run into somebody who had the absolute opposite mission of what we do after thursday's news conference many lackawanna county galleries and museums learned they weren't alone in losing irreplaceable items i don't think that personally we made any connections uh some of them were maybe a little more high profile than others. Uh, I was actually not even aware of all of the ones in Lackawanna County. 